Is a state law that allows unequal treatment on the basis of sexual orientation constitutional? To find out, you have to read Romer versus Evans, but it's 19 pages. Don't have time for that? I've got you covered. This is TLDR, Too Long Didn't Read. Normally, I do Court of Appeals cases in five minutes or less, but this is a different episode. This is a part of a limited series I'm doing on cases relevant to LGBTQ plus issues. And this is the episode on the case of Romer versus Evans, which is a United States Supreme Court case from 1996. The citation for this case is 517 U.S. 620. The issue in this case is a blanket law passed by a state that discriminates or permits discrimination against homosexuals or bisexuals, is that constitutional? To understand this case uh, and understand really what's going on here, you have to understand that the 14th Amendment to the United States Constitution contains an equal protection clause that, that basically guarantees equal protection under the law to all citizens. And when there's a challenge to an equal protection under the equal protection clause, the the review in court, the United States Supreme Court, utilizes what's called a tiered analysis, T-I-E-R, a tiered analysis. And for almost everything, the test is rational basis test. Is there the test is this? Is the law rationally related to a legitimate governmental interest? If it's rationally related to a legitimate governmental governmental interest, it it's, it passes, and it's not unconstitutional under the Fourteenth Amendment Equal Protection Clause. If it's a if it, if the challenge relates to gender, then the, then the court will apply a, an intermediate standard. And if it applies to race, alienage, national origin, or dealing with fundamental rights, it applies strict scrutiny. Strict scrutiny is very high, which basically has to be the least restrictive, most narrowly tailored uh, approach to a compelling governmental interest. So really, a lot of these challenges under due process or equal protection clause claims under the 14th Amendment, they really are determined by what test is applied. If it's rational basis, it almost always wins. If it's strict scrutiny, it almost always loses. So what do we have here? The facts in this case are that Colorado in the 90s, uh, several of the cities, Aspen, Boulder, Denver, started passing ordinances, local state, local laws that said that banned discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation. In, in certain areas like housing, employment, education, public accommodations, health, and welfare. They said you're not allowed to discriminate against people on the basis of sexual orientation. As a result, and as a backlash, people put onto the, into, a, into a referenda a constitutional amendment that passed, barely. And it was called Amendment Number 2, and basically it put into the Co- Colorado Constitution a, a law that, that prohibited all legislative, executive, or judicial action that protects homosexuals as a group. And it said, if anyone ever wants to change this, they have to change it by constitutional amendment. So no longer is a, is a local city or, or town uh, able to pass a law that protects and bars, protects homosexuals or bisexuals or anyone on the basis of sexual orientation. And if they want to change it, they have to go, they have to do another thing. They have to basically reverse this at a constitutional amendment process. It's challenged in district court, and it goes to the Supreme Court of Colorado, and they apply strict scrutiny because they say this affects a fundamental right of the population that's affected, the the right to participate in the political process because they're creating a disability where if they want to change something, they have to go to the Constitution, not at a local level. And they they said it's a violation of the of the of the equal protection clause, but it goes to the United States Supreme Court, and that's the case of Romer versus Evans that we're dealing with. And the majority here, written by Judge Kennedy, says it violates the 14th Amendment, Equal Protection Clause, but for a different reason. He says it's not strict scrutiny. He applies rational basis and says that there's no rational basis to discriminate. That's not a rational, that's not a legitimate governmental interest. And he says that the the breadth of this, this is not a in this specific one area or this specific town or a specific issue. To target the sexual orientation as a as a as an area to basically prevent any legislation of protection is so broad that it, it, it demonstrates this. the intent is just animus. And the quote here, the important quote, is says, bare desire to harm a politically unpopular group cannot constitute a legitimate governmental interest. And as a result, if there's no legitimate governmental interest, 
then there is no rational basis to address, and it fails under the under the rational basis test. Now, of course, there's a dissent from Scalia here, as there often is in these kinds of cases. It's and he says that uh, of course there's a rational basis here, that it's an eminently reasonable thing to discriminate, and it's not the same thing uh, that that people can show their moral opprobrium by passing such a statute, and that's okay according to Judge Scalia. Um, but the important part of Romer versus Evans is that it's the first time the, the United States Supreme Court is recognizing that there's constitutional protection for sexual orientation. It's the first time they're upholding that and saying you can't just you can't just apply animus to discriminate against an individual uh, group of people, group of citizens in the United States. So that's the case of Romer versus Evans, 1996, important LGBTQ plus case. Have a good day. If you like what you just saw and want to see more just like it, Please hit like or subscribe to let me know.